hello again. In my last video I did a Dutch pour um, but I tried something different and after I had covered the colours with the white pillow of paint with the dryer I then stopped and used the blowtorch to get rid of bubbles which gave me the tiny little white dots and then I walked away and left it for a little while to settle. I wanted to see if it made any sort of a difference and for me, particularly using the house paint, I think it did. And uh, I was really happy with the final result. Today I'm going to try that again just to see if it does the same thing. This time on a piece of foam board rather than on the canvas. And again today I am using a piece of foam board as it's a, an experimental session. And my colours I'm using are the Franchville Studio Satin in Prussian Blue to which I have added a little of the Pearl Montmartre Pearl Sapphire uh, which just alters the colour very very slightly but I'm hoping will put a dash of iridescence into it. I'm also using Crimson Red Renault Art I've said before and I'll say it again, I really like Renault Art Paints. I've got gold and that, that one is the Simco acrylic paint, very similar to a paste, <laughs> sorry, very similar to a poster paint. Um, uh, quite runny uh, but mixes well with my glue and water pouring medium. And my last two colours or should I say one colour, because I've mixed them both together, uh, the Simco Turquoise, which is actually called Tiffany. I use a lot of, but today I've mixed it with a little of the Montmartre Pearl White, again to give it that dash of iridescence. And my colours look like this, so I've got Prussian Blue, Crimson Red, which is very similar to the rose that I love to use. Gold and Turquoise. I've covered my foam board with White House Paint again, which I will also use as a pillow around the colours. And now I'm going to add my colours again, just randomly. I've got a fairly small board, so it will be a light random layer. My paint consistency is a little thicker today. Um, I thought I might try that to see if it encouraged any more small cells. I'm ready to use my hair dryer. My hair dryer, if anyone is interested, is a Remington. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really have no idea about much else about it other than that it is just a blow dryer with all the bells and whistles. It's got a call button on it. It's got uh, three heat buttons and it's got two blow power, the um, low power and the high power. And I generally tend to stick with the low power and hold in the call button. And to torch. Hmm, 
there's some interesting patterns forming already. I like what I see. And now I'm going to walk away again for five minutes and just let it do whatever it wants to do in the way of settling. fast forward that on time lapse when I edit the video but I have to say there's some weird and wonderful things going on here I actually will take the camera down and uh, do a couple of close-ups uh, for you and then put the camera back again before I do any more um, blow blowing with the dryer well it's certainly made some weird and wonderful patterns the blue and the um, red have made almost like I think they're called dendrites I hope that isn't too blurry it looks okay on my little wee screen but it's certainly made a pattern that I'm looking forward to using the dryer on okay time for me to blow it out and see what happens Pretty much the same as what happened last time with all these little funny little cell things. Well, okay, so give it another torch. And this time when I use my spatula I'm actually going to bring it in more towards the centre to do kind of like more petal shapes although that isn't really what I'm looking for. I probably will do a couple of tendrils. Something like that across actually. I might use my toy and break that up a little. That's bringing out some interesting colours. Right in the middle. better stop because otherwise I'm going to muddy it up like I normally do when I keep going too long. I'm just going to take the end off my dryer now and just do a sn snub nose um, in the middle to try and blend, blend that more.
that's it that is very vibrant in the middle now so again I don't think there are any more um, cells to come through but I'm certainly loving the reaction of the uh, Prussian blue with the rest of the colours I'm going to bring this in towards the middle I'll do a few of these now just to um, do a bit, little more, bit more definition That's the end of my practice session. I certainly had some interesting things going on there with the blue. Uh, the experiment was to see if I could get the same sort of um, cells that I had on the previous one that I had done where I had actually swiped the white pillow paint into the center and then walked away and left it for a while after I torched it and this has uh, actually come out even more unusual so I'm going to experiment with it again to see what happens but that's it for this experiment once again thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time